Hey -o. my name is Bloodshot and welcome back to part 2 of this walkthrough. Now, the next thing I'm going to try to do is show you how to get some good armor. What you're wearing right now is pretty, pretty just awful. You might as well be naked. And so, this some of you might have a little bit of difficulty uh, getting this armor, but this is much cheaper than buying armor from the messengers in the spawn air in the uh, in the dream, Hunter's Dream. Now, the first thing you need to do is, you need to have opened that shortcut that I opened in part one, and kill these guys in here. If you come back, there's this old man in a chair who's actually quite dangerous if you don't kill him quickly. Yeah, he'll drop some bullets and there'll be some items to pick up. Now, you want to head back up these stairs, where there will be another enemy hiding over here to the right. It's really dark, so if you haven't been in here before, it's really difficult to see them. There'll be another enemy here in the back. Followed by, I think I have some items, some items here to pick up. Now, you might have noticed that you get a little bit of health back after taking damage if you kill the person. Not kill, but hit the person immediately back. Which is helpful, but ultimately doesn't give you a whole lot. Now, what we're going to need to do is run past these wolves... And I, this is another situation where running is much more advantageous than fighting. They're quite dangerous and have a lot of health, and trying to take them both on at the same time will likely get you killed. So instead, just run past them and head down these stairs here to the right. Hopefully they won't follow if I'm doing anything correctly. Uh, and they, Oh, there they come. So you want to quickly roll through these boxes here. Okay, and it appears one has followed me all the way down. Uh, if both follow you, you'll be in trouble. But usually they won't. One will happen sometimes. Both is very rare. And so you want to just kind of make your way down here. Oh dear. Okay, so there's the wolf. So you want to make your way down these steps here. And it looks like I might have to fight him. If I can get him to so just... Oh, this, is, this is just a, a walkthrough of shit that's never happened before. If he would just fall down, that would save me quite a bit of trouble. I'm not sure. I'm having a real hard time telling where he is. So I'm going to drop down. And okay, good. He's fallen down. Down there. Which, he'll likely kill me on the way back. But... He's at least out of the way for now. So what we're going to need to do is we need to progress further down this this little sewerway here. And, uh... Oh. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, be careful of these wolfmen up here. You're probably going to need to kill them as you go forward. Kill them one at a time. As you go. Yeah, all the way to the end of the path here. So this is going to be a little close for me, being of all the enemies I've accidentally dropped down down into that pit there, because we're going to need to go down here, there, here at the end. Now you may have noticed that if you shoot an enemy uh, right before they attack, they'll be stunned a little. And then while you're standing still, if you walk up to them and press your melee attack button, you'll do a sort of like critical attack. And so now if you can drop down onto this ledge and get something, I don't don't remember. Uh, some some blood, carryable blood echoes. And you'll notice there's an enemy over there on the left, and that's where we need to go. So I would first start if there's any rats in the area. Dropping down onto those. Get that out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna pop a blood vial here just because to be safe, these enemies hit really hard. Now, I've had a lot of endurance, and I'm using a low low damage weapon so I can swing it very quite a few times. Now, right here on this corpse will be some armor, which is going to be extremely helpful. And so I'm going to equip that, and you'll notice here as I put it on, it increases your stats by quite a bit, which will make it so you can take quite a few more hits. It's basically just short of double 
in every kind of defense for almost every piece of armor. Except the pants, for some reason, the pants aren't that aren't nearly as effective. And now we're uh, basically going to head back. Uh, there's other things I'd like to get along the way. You don't have to head all the way back. Uh, you can die or try to ex maneuver around, but I'm going to continue back. Oh dear. If you're attacked while you're sprinting on a ladder, you're more likely to fall off. So right near the bottom, I'd, I'd recommend against sprinting. And then as you get close, once you get above that uh, likely hit area, move forward. So now we're just going to head our way back. And... Uh, Now we're back up top here. And hmm, where should we head now? Uh, now, if you head to the left, there's the Cleric Beast boss fight, which, depending on how many blood vials you have at the moment, you might be prepared for. I only have five, and it's Highly likely, I'm going to get hit a lot during that fight, so I don't have nearly enough. Instead, I'm going to head uh, across and down these stairs over here, and try to continue forward. Oh. Uh, the last thing I'm going to try to show you in this video is where to talk to an NPC along the way, which is going to be quite helpful. Now, she is a very important NPC as she uh, gives you, is part of a quest line to get the Blades of Mercy and to get the, the rune, I don't remember what it's called, the Crow Hunter's rune, which increases your stamina regeneration. This is a long quest line and this is just the first step in it. And so, oh dear. I'm just going to ignore him for now, and instead run past him, back to where we dropped down earlier, which was up here. And so you want to drop back down here, and head down these stairs. Uh, careful of the dog still. Keep an eye out for dogs, they tend to come from these corners, they're rather tricky. Uh, just when you're picking up items in a corner, it's best to watch your back, you never know what's going to happen. Now here's one of the people that you can talk to that will actually have any sort of effect on your game. And if you uh, talk to her, She'll ask you if you can tell her anywhere safe to go, and you don't really know anywhere at the moment, so just say no. So the NPC is right up ahead. You want to roll through these barrels here, and you'll come across like this little secret area, and you want to carefully make your way across all these these balcony balcony places into this little place here. And here will be the first NPC that, no, well, not the first, but another NPC that will give you things. And so talk to her a whole bunch of times until she starts repeating herself. She'll give you a uh, new animation and some uh, hunter's marks. And that's the first step of that quest, and I think this is a good place to stop for part two. And uh, we'll, we'll pick up from here in the next part. I'll see you guys later.